starting today with some American politics. United States Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is now confirming a seven-nation tour set to begin this weekend, including stops in Paris, Turkey, Georgia, Israel, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Qatar. But the meetings, which Pompeo says are to discuss historic efforts to forge peace in the Middle East, may be a bit uncomfortable, as all seven nations in the itinerary have already congratulated former Vice President Biden for his projected election victory. And in fact, several of these nations, like France, have even voiced their excitement at the idea of working with a Biden White House. President Trump, on the other hand, is refusing to concede the election and is challenging the reported results in several states, while Pompeo backs him up, saying that there will soon be a, quote, smooth transition to a second Trump administration. There will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration. All right, we're, we're ready. The, the world is watching what's taking place here. We're going to count all the votes. When the process is complete, there'll be electors selected. There's a process. The Constitution lays it out pretty clearly. What do you say to the Americans that are anxious over the fact that President Trump has yet to concede and what that might mean for the country? Well, um, I just think it's an embarrassment, um, quite frankly. Uh, the only thing that, uh, how can I say this uh, tactfully? I, I think it will not help the president's legacy. 